welcome to Real Nifty Vintage. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm at one of my very favorite places to go and that is the Westbury Antique Mall in Bloomington, Indiana. So let's go in and let's see what we can find today. Okay, so here I see a little glass bear paperweight. I'm kind of thinking that he might, I don't know if he's a bear or if he's a mouse. But he's $7.50. I think I'm going to grab him. He's clear glass, but I like his little hands and feet. He does have applied ears, but, and I think his, I think his limbs are applied too, but I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about him. Seven fifty. I might let him sit here for a few minutes and we'll see what else we can find today, but I might be back to get you mouse bear. This is a really fun booth with all this beautiful depression era glass. Oh, I just love coming in here and looking. I love the cabinets. It just, oh wow, look at this. This is not a bad price either, but this is a glass mailbox. Now I used to have people coming into the shop a lot looking for these glass mailboxes. Isn't that beautiful? It's $50. Very, very nice. All right, we've got some uranium glass. I really like Vaseline glass. Ooh, like right here. You know what? I think, I think I have my light with me. I don't know how to, this is $27 for this little tumbler. It is a McKee, yeah. It is a McKee. There is the, I can focus here on the, there you go, McKee. That is the symbol there on this Vaseline glass. It's got the ring of fire kind of along the rim of it. It's beautiful. I bet you it glows. Let's see if I have my light with me. I'm not sure if I do or not. But you know, I mean, the way that they have this displayed, it's a very simple display, just the pegboard with the pegs, but it does display if you're selling a lot of um, big pictures and stuff it does display really nice nice big primitive cabinet now that might give pinky a run for her money wow that's beautiful it's a big old built-in there that wasn't easy to get into this space i can tell you that right now but oh, i'm looking at this tablecloth forty dollars yeah that's beautiful those beautiful collars oh i love that this is different. What is this? It's a dolphin hook. It's ten dollars. Well, that's different. You can hang your stockings from that. And there's a big boy. Here's a magic eight ball. Okay, magic eight ball. Magic eight ball. Will I be prepared for my pop-up shop in September? Yes. Oh, thank you, magic eight ball. You made me feel a lot better to half naked kin back okay this is my weakness here and we all know i like this kind of stuff but okay well where should i begin well let's start at the top we've got pigs we've got pigs here we've got a little angy blue pig for five dollars he's a little angy blue pig i really like these banks he's five dollars for the little plastic pig bank look at this little baby it's a dollar fifty. We've got some. I, this is really nice too. This clay and pottery necklace. It's different. Oh, here's a piece of M. A. Hadley. Little M. A. Hadley rooster. Oh, that. Oh, I thought that was skulls. I was like, oh, they're skulls. No, it's not skulls. Oh, okay. Let's look at this little box of minis. We have a little mini motorcycle. Looks like it, maybe it might have been like a Cracker Jack toy. It's a dollar. This is a dollar fifty for these little minis. Looks like there's a little gingerbread girl, some bears. It's a dollar for this little kitty cat here. Three, three fifty for the elephant. Here's some little piggies in here. Dollar fifty for those. A little kitty. Oh, he's an angie. 
It's an angry little dog cat. Lion. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Piggy's there. Some more little farm animals. I'm not seeing anything in the minis right now. Little glass, stretched glass cat for a dollar fifty. So I'm gonna get that guy. I have another one, so I might lock these together. Um, this is a little. It's a signed cat there. It's like a Mexican pottery cat for three fifty. Cat with a fuzzy hat. Fancy. It's a fancy cat. It's eight fifty. <laughs> cute. Well, here's a little squirrel, a little stoneware squirrel for $1.50. The walrus is neat. Okay. We've got some roosters. I want to say I have those roosters already. Down there. Oh, my God. The old, oh, beer little. Look at his little feet. He swims. The old couple's cracking me up. This is $17.50 for this little tin toy. It's made by, it's made by, uh, it's made in Japan, Makata. I like his little dangling legs. Booth 0511, oh, it's just kitschy goodness. Look, look at these trays. <gasps> okay, so they're $40 for a set of four of the Daisy snack trays. Those are just, oh my goodness. And then the, the, um, the enamel tea kettle. I mean, the displays in here are just spot on. I just love it so much. Love it. Oh, I just love her displays in here. They're just so good. And the sailboat, $40 for the set here, which is not a bad price. It's retail. I mean, I'm not, I can't do a lot of it for resale, but great price to add to your little vintage kitchen set. This is beautiful. This Belique. It's $15, but oh my gosh, if you've never held a piece of Belique in your hands, go, go find, go, go out and find a piece just to hold it in your hands. It is the most delicate, sweet little thing that you'll ever hold. This is eight dollars for this little bowl here. Just so pretty. Art glass roosters, forty-nine dollars, but he's pretty fabulous, I have to say. We've got a little amber swan, rainbow glass for ten dollars. This is the fifteen dollars for the fitting rose crest. It's beautiful. I'm hoping you can hear me over the music too, but. I do have my mask on, so it's probably a little bit harder to hear me. All right. Hi, Santa. How are you doing, buddy? This is cute little dog plate. Sometimes, you know, just coming in and looking at stuff. Even, you know, just to get inspiration for your own home decor is fun. Here's a little Murano style, um, Kitty cat, I've just sold one of these recently. You know what? I'm I'm gonna get you, cat. I've done pretty well with you. You're not having a sale, no. But I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you today. I am. I'm gonna pay up. I, I've already decided I'm gonna pay up on a few things today. Oh, there's a fairy lamp. Mm, I don't really like the the egg shaped ones, but there's look fairy lamp right there. Twenty dollars. Come to Westbury Antique Mall. You can get it. Oh, I love the Goldilocks. How much is she? Okay, this is the real Poe Goldilocks. She's so fun. I'm a lot with birds lately. This is a little Japan bird. But man, when you look at these bird figurines, if you really look at how nice they're painted, look at his face. You see those brush strokes? He's hand painted. He is $8.50. I'm gonna get him. I think that he's lovely. I like his coloring. He's just painted so nicely. Okay, fly on over to the cart, fella. But just look at how adorable she is. Doesn't she remind you of Darla from Our Gang? I don't know. She's so cute. She's a little chalkware chef. She's $45. She has her little hangers, but she's in excellent condition. You're adorable, girl. 
to show this. This isn't something that I normally pick up, but I did have, Dad had one of these that was back in the, in the inventory. This, a, this Owl Foss pork, and pork Rind Minnow 10. This one's actually in a lot better condition than the one that I sold on eBay. I can't remember how much I sold it for. I want to say it was like $20 or so. This one's 40, $34. But it does have the lure inside, too, which mine did not. So that is an amazing price, really, for this amazing 10 with the lure still inside. Fishing thing can do fishing items can do pretty well. I have sold several um, fishing lures in the past. It does take a little bit of studying to kind of know, you know, what's good. When they come in the box like this, it's pretty easy to do a little bit of research on it. But if they don't, some of them do have these little, they have their name on it. And so you can research them a little bit, but some of the older ones don't and some of the homemade ones don't. And those can be pretty good. So it might be worth just kind of looking into it a little bit. Hello, fellas. But you know, twenty dollars for these lures, so the, you can you can you can turn a pretty big profit. And sometimes they do have all of their their stuff. Oh, I'm looking at this. What is this? Twenty one dollars. Hard candies metal container. Now, how fun is that for Halloween decor? And it's Shadowland. That sounds mysterious. The Four Seasons Hard Candy Johnsons. No, Johnstons. Milwaukee, USA, $21. That's pretty fabulous. I've never seen that before, but I do like it. Okay, these are about adorable. They look like little jock strap, but it says it's for your highballs. <laughs> so they're little, they're little cozies for your highball glasses, but they got whistles on them and they've got, look like little jock straps. What in tarnation? And what's the box say? Jocksters, a coaster set for your highballs. I mean, oh look, it has the original receipt in here. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Uh, oh, 2006. Well, my goodness, I thought they were they were a lot older than that. How much do they have on them? Where's your price tag? Price tag. Well, let's see. Are you on the bottom? There we go. Twenty dollars gag gift. Those are just hilarious. For your highballs. Huh. Well, I can say you've seen everything. All right, booth eight fifty seven is another one of my favorite booths. So I'll just kind of show it a little bit to you guys. But I'm seeing a couple of things that I'm interested in. And. This horse. It is a uh, our own import Japan. It's a little brush with a horse head on it. It's seven ninety five. It has looks like it has one minor little chippy above his eye, but it's just cool. I'm gonna get that. I really like that. And then I don't think that these are. Yeah, those aren't very too vintage. Here's a little glass squirrel votive. It's Avon. It's an Avon horse. And then this is a he that's he's really heavy. That's a heavy horse bookend. But I am gonna get the horse brush. And then I like her too. She is left in. She's $7.95. So the little angel candle holder girl. I'm gonna get her too. I'd like to look at the cat shelf. And I did see that he kind of looks like he's doing some business. I'm not sure what's going on with it, but it's $7.95 for the pair of cat salt and pepper shakers. They've got beautiful green eyes. So I'm gonna grab these guys. If you're looking for the coveted grease canister, it's right here in gold. It's $21.95. It does have the strainer. It's very clean. I'm not gonna get it today, but Westbury Antique Mall booth 857. Come get your grease container. Look, Randy, it's Alf. He's $12.95. I sent Randy's husband an Alf just like this. Randy, Randy's husband loves Alf. What? Huh? Huh? What? 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 There he is. Just another little piece of Balik. But boy, there is just nothing like that little, the little tea set it was really nice. This was a small Balik base that has a newer label there on the bottom, but 
I was looking at this and I thought, oh wow, I love that. Look how fun that color is. Isn't that fun? It's Holt Howard. It's $7.40. So I'm going to get this little creamer. It'd be great if it had the sugar bowl with it too, wouldn't it? Uh, custard Glass Art in USA. This is different. Friedman Allison Pottery Bowl Storks. 1980 and then we've got oh my gosh look at this guy he's in the aisles this is imperial porcelain zanesville oh, this is zanesville pottery hmm. oh it's a planter well that's kind of cool this is different yeah, that's all twisted it looks like a tornado To say it is unsigned Ed Branson balloon glass, a puddle bowl 5760. Isn't that neat? Doesn't it look like a tornado? I said that looks like Viking. I think I'm gonna get this Viking purple. This one is Italy Inesco purple for 1260. It's got a really pretty shape on it. But I'm going to get the Viking and I'm going to get the whole Howard down there. I also see this Viking, this epic blue little mini bud base and it's $9.40. And I'm going to get this. I'm probably going to keep it, but we'll see. But I am going to get that so I wanted to show it to you. Sink so cute. This little, the little duck planter family. I do believe that they are, they might be Clemensons, but they're California pottery for sure, I do believe. But it's three pieces for $19.99. I don't know if I'm going to get them. I should, probably, because they are so cute, but they're kind of springy. I don't know, and I tend to sometimes buy things that are seasonal, just because I have so much stuff. But I did want to show them to you. And then this is a boot, this is a match um, holder, but it's also a striker, so you would strike your match on there. $7.99. It is amethyst, so it's like a purpley glass. It does have some wear up there. $7.99. Mm. You guys can yell at me, I'll allow it. But, um, it's pretty cute. I wanted to show you those little duckies. Kitty cats. Those are cute. Oh, this is pretty too. I've been very drawn to birds lately. This is Royal Copley. This signed Royal Copley. It's $9.99. It does have a chip right there. Beautiful piece. I'm going to leave it for $9.99, but very pretty Royal Copley bird. It's over here. Where are you? You are made in Indonesia. Your wooden cat for five ninety nine. This is fun. It's all measuring cups. This is a McCoy thirty four ninety nine. I found one of those. This one's got a crack, but I found one at my yard sale for a dollar. Well, hello, Mister Turtle. You are thirty dollars. You're very cute. Some Wade whimsies, boobies. Oh, Mary Gregory. This is beautiful. Hello, Miss Mary. What what talent you had. This is $149. That is beautiful. That cobalt blue. It's beautiful. This booth here. This is kind of looking like McCoy to me, but it's a beautiful potted piece. It's $10. So... It's in great condition. I'm going to put that in my cart. Entering one of the happiest places for me here. And that is booth 0511. This is her second booth. And she just, her and I have the exact same mental thoughts, I think, with things. Because, my goodness, there's a little Tanala ducky. The, well, this one says El Paso, Texas. It was bought in 1983. It's a, still a cute little thing. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's amazing. Look at the lines on that. 
smug little kitty mug, which would be cute as a planter. I like that. This is Miramar of California. It's eleven dollars. That's fun. The Hall Cornucopia for fifteen. Oh, it's just so much fun stuff. I like this hammered metal Florida tray. It's twenty. Oh, the or not unless she's moved them, but her little oranges, her little California oranges, have either sold or she's moved them. Look at these canisters. Oh my goodness gracious. Heavens to Betsy. Those are nice. Look at this Viking. The plantation dainties. My goodness. The little dog, the little corgi. Oh, he's fun. He's given some major side eye, isn't he? He is a narco. I love the narco dog planters. He's sixteen dollars. He's given some major side eye and a little flogged baby. Oh, this is McCoy. Are those? They're pet. It's a pet treat. But oh, okay. That's a dog and that's a cat. up in the air. This is so cute. Oh my heavens. She's 15. I may have to get her. I mean, how, how, oh man. <gasps> what? Okay. I'm getting this. Millie, Millie, you did a good job. Oh my gosh. This is $7.99. So I'm going to get little jeweled eyed well, you know, air plant, but I think it's a toothpick holder. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is the, uh, what is it? DK Pottery. It's very pretty, though. It really kind of caught my eye, that vibrant blue color. Oh, a scorpion. Oh, it's a scorpion. Oh, it'll pinch you. Be careful. All right, I'm going to let you, lay you there. I'm not going to forget you, I hope. And this guy just cracks me up every time I see him. And look how happy that guy is. So these are a ceramic cat figurine for $6.50. I'm going to get you. I'm going to set you down there. How much is your buddy? $14.99. This one has the Made in Japan sticker. Gosh, I hate to separate you, but you don't, I mean, you don't necessarily match. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see. There. I'll put you there. You look good next to that. Horses. Here's some twenty-two dollars for this. I have got like a little collection of Tatanella going right now, so I'm not gonna get these today. But Westbury Antique Mall. Oh my goodness. Okay, this says as is. Brush pottery, green elephant planter, ten dollars firm. Why is he as is? got a glazing flaw there it's got a little a little tiny little chippy there but okay I'm gonna get you you're pretty fantastic with that color and then what are you oh incarnation it's a candy container wow or a horn the big elephant it's elephant trinket 1850 and the flowers, $19.99 for the little delicate flowers. Oh, this is just fabulous. It's $55. It's gonna, I'm not gonna get it because I don't want to ship it, but fabulous. Oh my word, look how fun this is. I mean, that's a summer party right there. $49 for the set. That's amazing. What are you? 
Old Rip Ceramic Horned Toad Eastland, Texas Souvenir House of Webster Ceramics. It's a horned toad. That's interesting. Oh, here's little mushies. Little Morton Pottery mushies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're cute. You and your little bunnies. Your napco. An owl. Gray squirrels. All right, well, we're going to get these two guys. We're going to add you to our cart. And your and your elephant friend. Getting this speckleware in the Melmac. It's the cream and sugar. It's twelve fifty for the set. It's twelve for the platter. But my goodness, I cannot resist this orange. This would be great for Halloween. I've looked at this fella for probably a year coming in here, and I'm today is is the day. It is this cute little Kelvin's porpoise creamer it's in really good condition he's $8.99 it's so stinking cute I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get him okay I'm trying to be really good and show you the things that I'm buying you as I'm buying them so there won't be a haul video at the end of this video but I wanted to break in and say that if you see anything that you're interested in that I'm buying today and I'm showing you it all you can send me an email thrifters younger vintage hunter at gmail.com and I'll let you know if it's still available all right, so I just found something else. These guys, they're monkeys. And unfortunately they are sold separately, but I don't, and I don't, I kind of want to say, maybe not, but I'm getting them. Look at this one. Okay, I'm getting them, they're cute. You're going home with me, buddies. Flashback. Liz Claiborne. Liz Claiborne. I, mean, I think that they still make Liz. I gotta smell it though. I gotta smell it. it takes me back to the 80s. Let's take a spring, some on my wrist. So we're gonna smell like 1980s Liz Claiborne for the rest of the day. Is it a bad thing? I don't know. Those are pretty fabulous. The little mushies and the butterfly. They're $8.99 each. Boy, I shouldn't have sprayed that perfume. I think that they've been painted. They were probably brown. Oh my gosh, you're a little Norwal hanging on the wall. You're not old, but just kind of popping out the pop, popping out of the wall there. Oh wow. A little stained glass guy. What are you? Styroco wood chase dog chasing the rabbit little wall planters. Oh, the devil. That's kind of scary. What, who are you? Hector, enjoy a taste of pow. Studly muffins. Look at that hair. I'm putting together a box for Mr. Retros. Look got a troll for 99 cents it's a lucky troll I'm gonna go into the cart yay let's look and see what else is here look there's lamb chop that's 99 cents what's the date on there 1983 you know what i'm gonna get this because i have a lamb chop puppet oh my gosh i shouldn't have sprayed that perfume what, did I, what was i thinking i'm gonna have a headache by the time i leave here All right what else is in here for 99 cents a little chicky Oh, this is a little perfume bottle. Glass Act Studio. Are you 99 cents? They're kind of neat though. Let's see. Hmm. I probably should get it for 99 cents. I mean, I'm getting the lamb chop thing for 99 cents. Why am I not getting that really pretty piece of, art, of perfume bottle? I don't know. But we're going to get lamb chop. Because I'm going to put it with the puppet I have from 1983 it's vintage i really like how this booth though they use they use these old playing cards to um you know put their pins on i like that i think it's fun oh my word look what does this get up Ooh. 
can get purple or yellow beaded earrings. Oh, you're a little bluebird. For $3.99. Where are you? Oh, it holds your glasses. What? Let's see like this. I'm telling you what, that's kind of fun. How much is this? 99 cents. Sold. I, I found this book, Hayes Safety Posters. It's nine dollars, but I just can't resist stuff like this. Okay, so the it's the condition is I mean, like it's the binding's coming off, but like wait your turn on the slide. And danger, keep matches out of baby's reach. They kind of look like like she looks like a female version of Dennis the Menace. Don't play in the street. Yes. Don't play with fire. Look both ways. Stand back. Always swim with a buddy. Look up when running. Oh no, no, I gotta look where I'm going when I'm running. I can be looking up. Learn to know about poisonous plants. I don't know. I just, it's just weird. Oh, I like these metal numbers. I actually have one, four, or, or I have a four, because there's a family of four. If you have a family of one, I guess that's fine, but it's $5. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, I like it. I'm gonna get it. This is something that I'm just gonna have to get. It's $7, but I can't help it, but it looks just like Jeffrey. Here we go, boys and girls. Welcome to Real Nifty Vintage. I need some paint fixed on my head. This is a Jeff egg. I don't know, I just have to get it. Cute little pig here, this little pig bank. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first read it, that's not what I thought it said. Just gonna say, it just kinda took me back a little bit there, but keep coins dropping for Christmas shopping. It's really cute. It's $3. I'm gonna get it. Well, it was a lot of fun shopping at the Westbury Antique Mall today. If you are in the Bloomington, Indiana area, make sure that you do stop in. Prepare to be here for a couple of hours because it's a lot bigger on the inside than it looks like it is on the outside. There are two floors, good stuff, great prices. So make sure that you do stop in and shop small, support small business owners in the Antique Mall and you will be so happy that you did. Like I said, everything that I bought today, I did show you, so there will not be a haul video. If you're interested in anything that I had bought today, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I will let you know if it is still available. But I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye!